Alright, this video here we're going to learn how to make an ogive. Uh, so, to draw uh, an ogive or make an ogive, here's the three steps that we go by. It says make a frequency table showing class boundaries and cumulative frequencies. Okay. For each class, make a dot over the upper class boundary at the height of the cumulative class frequency. The coordinates of the dots are upper class boundary, cumulative class frequency. Connect these dots with line segments. Now this right here basically tells you, it tells you the, uh, the point gives you the coordinates of the point. See the upper class boundary, that's like your X coordinate and the cumulative class frequency is your Y coordinate. And I'll, I'll get into this more when we get over here to the example. And then by convention an ogive begins on the horizontal axis, so that means that where Y is zero, at the lower class boundary of the first class. All right. So let's look at our example. I have a table and it has the intervals and the frequencies already filled out. Okay, uh, some problems you may have to figure all this out, but uh, but I've already done this to save some time. So the class boundaries. Remember the the class boundaries. You see the 20 and the 21. It's halfway between those two. It's halfway between the 30 and 31, halfway between 40 and 41. Okay, so if we go halfway between 20 and 21, that's 20.5. And then if we, if we, so basically to these upper class bound, these upper class limits, uh, we're going to add 0.5, and to the lower class, you're just basically subtracting 0.5. Okay, so if we're adding 0.5, that would be 20.5, and subtracting 0.5, that would be 10.5. So this would be 10.5 to 20.5. This one would be 20.5 to 30.5. This would be 30.5 to 40.5. This would be 40.5 to 50.5, and this one would be 50.5 to 60.5. Okay, so that's uh, that's subtracting 0.5 to get these, and adding 0.5 to each of these to get the upper class boundaries. Okay, now the cumulative frequency. So remember how to find the cumulative frequency. It's the frequency here plus all the previous ones. So here this would be 23. This one would be the frequency plus all the previous. So that's 43 plus 23 which that would be 66 and then this cumulative frequency would be 51 plus all the other ones, uh, all the previous ones. So let's see, that would be 117. This one would be 27 plus all the previous. So that would be, let's see, 144. And then this one would be 7 plus all the previous. So that would be 151. Now, remember, well, let's go ahead and draw our X and Y axis. All right, so here we've got this. Okay, so we've got to be able to go all the way up to 151. Okay, and we're starting at 23. Uh, I guess we could go up in 20s, so that would be 20, 40, 
40, 60, 80, 100, and then 120. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. All right. So remember what it said. We've got, we're going to have to label this. So, all right. So it's the upper class boundary and the cumulative frequency. That's the point you plot. Upper class boundary and cumulative frequency. Okay. So it's the upper class boundary, which is this, and the cumulative frequency. Okay. So the first point would be 20.523. You see that? 20.523. The next one would be 30.566. The next one would be 40.5117. The next 50.5144 and then 60.5151. That's what that meant when it said this, upper class boundary, cumulative class frequency. Upper class boundary, cumulative class frequency. That's like your, this is like your X coordinate, and this is like your Y coordinate. And then notice what it says that an ogive begins on the horizontal axis at the lower class boundary of the first class. Okay, an ogive begins on the horizontal axis at the lower class boundary of the first class. So that means we would plot this, okay, this is the lower limit of the first class boundary. Okay, so this, what they're saying is that, and let's go ahead and put the 10.5, so it, this is your x coordinate, and it says it's on the horizontal axis, so your point would be on the horizontal axis, so you, it's like your y would be zero, so it's like you're plotting the point uh, 10.5, zero. Okay. See if I can write that again. 10.50. That's this one. That's what that last statement means. All right. And so now let's mark these x values off. So that would be 20.5, 30.5, 40.5, 50.5, and 60.5. And then we just plot the points. So at 20.5 we're at 23 so we'll just kind of estimate it. It'd be about right in there. And you know if you're doing this on paper you can you can go in fives or something. I'm just doing 20s to, so I can get everything on the screen. Okay. 30.5 we're at 66 so we're probably that's probably going to be somewhere about right in there. 40.5 we're at 117 so that's about right in there. And see, we even have to go higher. That's going to be 140. And then we'll be up here at 160. Okay. I'm going to have, I'm going to be going into the chart some. So 50.5 will be at 144, which would be about right in there. And 60.5 will be at 151, which may be about say right in there and then you just connect them with lines and that would be your O job okay so I hope that helped uh, give me a like share subscribe and check out my other videos thanks for watching